Hi, I'm Tony, this is SV Departure. We're building this 32 foot um, sailboat designed by the American designer Jay Benford and uh, intended for cruising, liverboard, sailing vessel, junk rig schooner. Um, I'm going to start off this week by talking about the three things that are obviously, obviously missing from this boat. Yeah. Occasionally, but regularly, I get inquiries about uh, the keel, masts and rudder that are clearly not on the boat as yet. And uh, I talked about the keel last week. Um, and the same applies to all three of those things in that... Um, they're basically the last things that need fit into a sailboat as you're building it, um, depending on the design with the keel, admittedly, but mast and rudder are pretty much the last things you need to fit. So um, that's the case with this boat, also with the keel, with this design. And uh, it makes the most sense to be building them last, really. Um, in fact, I have made a start on the rudder. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Uh, but the keel and masts uh, will be built last will be fitted last um and perhaps it's fair to say that we're actually getting close now to the situation where we're ready to start building those things and here as i said is the rudder as it stands at the moment it's it's you know to all intents and purposes built um it will have end plates top and bottom hardware missing obviously uh tiller steering so all pretty simple, hardware for the tiller, hardware for the, the pintles to hang the thing, uh, and a bottom bearing support where it sits on the keel, supported by the back end of the keel. Um, airfoil shape and uh, airfoil profile, which is a nice big rudder that should be, should be very effective. Um, having said that, let's have a look at what's been going on this week. And if you look up at the very top of the picture there, you'll notice something. Um, maybe if you watched last week, it, uh, I think at one point last week, I said, I hope to be fitting the Bimini frame this week. And as you look up there, you'll notice that it didn't happen. We'll have a look at the Bimini, what has been done. Um, made good progress with it, but um, obviously it's not there. I've got the camera up high and I've attempted to set the Bimini frame up in a way that you can, you can see it, uh, what we've got. So this is the main forward arch of the Bimini. Um, and I first one of the first things, I wanted to, to not have that strut upright. I wanted to be able to lean it back. Um, so one of the first things I did, I got these joints and I welded them into the legs of the upright sections so that I can, I can adjust the angle to suit as I want.
And then the idea to support it is that it'll have these diagonal struts going down to the, to the raised deck. And then there'll be another diagonal strut coming up. In fact, I've got these fittings here. Got these fittings here that'll go onto there to allow us to have another diagonal strut coming up, um, forming a sort of truss structure. Got those joints in there. Got all of this welded up. I welded a couple of a couple of brackets onto there that, that take those diagonal poles. The fittings for the aft end of those diagonal poles are on the deck installed. And one other thing that I wanted to do, because of the deck crown, these obviously don't fit flat onto the deck. So I made up a couple of little pads, a couple of little blocks that go under those feet, raise those up a little bit off the deck, which will certainly um, decrease any chance of leaking and, uh, and fair them up so that they sit level on the deck.
good. it up to without moving it which is going to be challenging we'll move it somewhere around 110 we'll move it, that way, move it back remember because we're going to move it wrong yeah so move it back so this edge of this block now we'll move it almost look a little bit right now extend it beyond you so That way around, okay. Okay, if you try one of them now. Good, lovely, stop there, and the other one. Yeah. Remember that sticky catch in that board? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty darn good. Looking good so far, but not fitted. I've got five coats of epoxy primer sealer on there now, two coats of top coat to go on, and then we'll be ready finally to fit this structure to the deck. Well, it hasn't all been fun with the Bimini this week. Um, I've also been varnishing these, these trim pieces. I've varnished them uh, and fitted them. They're looking good. There's one little bit of the back corner missing, still needs a bit of attention, but they have been done. And between the rain, we've had a lot of rain this week. Between the rain, I've been getting coats of epoxy sealer on those pads for the, Bim for the Bimini fitting. Uh, a little bit also on uh, part I put on the anchor box a while back. So I've been painting, varnishing, fitting these trim pieces. Uh, yeah, 
looking good, happy with those. They really, really finished the boat off nicely. Hide that, that gap between the sole boards and, and the, the settees. Got a piece of trim still to come down here, uh, but we get in there. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. All that YouTube stuff, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, please. We'll be pushing on this week, getting a bit more done, hopefully getting that forward bimini frame fitted. Should do. Just need to get two coats of top coat on those pads and it's ready to, to fit. So that should be going on. Maybe this week, be getting out for a day of sailing as well. Hazel, Hazel's back in Germany. Elizabeth, her sister, is coming over, so uh, I think the three of us will get out for a one day of sailing at least. Be nice. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Massive thank you to everybody who supports us on PayPal and Patreon. See you next time. Bye.